Hi everybody! So the purpose of this video is to walk you through step-by-step -step how to submit your assignment for Module 2. Um, fun, fun, fun file formats. The goal is to demonstrate your ability to open a new project or file, apply a variety of modes and settings and resolutions, and then save that file in multiple file formats. So first we're going to need a photo. Um, using Adobe Photoshop, create a simple digital image using a photograph. The image should be related to a hobby or interest you have. You can use one of your own photos or one from Pexels.com. Pexels.com is a free stock photo website. They just ask that you credit the image maker or photographer when you're using the photo. So when you submit your assignment for this um, module. If you're using a photo from Pexels.com, just be sure to include the person's name um, that they have on Pexels.com, just for best practices. So I'm using a photo of my cat, Suki, and I took this on my iPhone um, to check the size of this image because I want you to use uh, an image that is one megabyte or smaller. Um, go up to Tools, Adjust Size, and then you can see what the width, height, resolution is, and you can also see what size your image is. So this is 278 kilobytes. That's smaller than one megabyte. So um, that will be just fine. I'm asking you to use a, a file that's smaller than one megabyte because when we resize these, they're going to get a little bit bigger, um, in some cases a lot of bit bigger when we jump up to 300, and DP, 300 dpi, um, and that will just take up a lot of space and might slow your Photoshop down a bit. Um, for And we don't really need you to use such a big file, so um, please use less than one megabyte and you should be all set. So, okay. Create a folder on your desktop and name it Art32. So I'm going to right click using a Mac. So I'm going to right click on my desktop, new folder, and title this folder Art32. Okay. Then open your photo in Photoshop. So going to my finder, I already have my Photoshop in my dock, but in order to find your Photoshop, if you have not yet, go to your applications, click on Photoshop, and once that comes up, you can drag that into your dock. That is if you're using a Mac. So I've opened up my Suki image, and the first step here is to use Save As to save the image in three different file formats, JPEG, PNG, and TIFF. So my, if I look up here, my image is already named Suki.jpg, so it's already saved as a JPEG, but let's practice by putting this into a folder saving this as a JPEG into my desktop folder for this class. So save as, and it's already in JPEG. I'm going to go down to Format and click Art32, Save, and you'll have um, multiple options in the JPEG options. All the different file formats have different option window boxes. Um, but we're just going to go with whatever default we see. Okay. And so when I go to my Art32 folder, I should see that Suki.jpg right in there. Next, we'll save this as a PNG file. So we'll go up, File, Save As. And you'll go down to Format. And this lists all the different types of file formats that you can choose from. So I'm going to choose PNG, and that changes this up here. So it's Suki.png now, changes the type of file. And I'll save that to my Art32 folder on my desktop. 
And again, I'm going to go with whatever default it's giving me, which is the large file size and the fastest saving. And lastly, for this step, I'm going to save this as a TIFF file. So again, I'll go up to File, Save As, Format, and TIFF. Save, another box with different default options. OK. Great. So I'll click out of that. And I'm going to show you a different way to open the image in Photoshop. I can just drag Suki onto my Photoshop icon, and there she is. Opens right up. So experiment with three different resolutions this time, and this one will be in JPEG format. So to experiment with different resolutions, I'm going to go up to Image, Image Size, and we see again that the resolution was 72 dpi, kind of the lowest that we're going to um, use in this class. And we're going to save that as 72 dpi. I'm going to make sure that this resample is checked. That ensures that the pixels kind of smartly um, reconfigure themselves depending on what kind of uh, what number resolution you've got. So OK, it's not changing, but I want to save it as a 72 dpi file name in my art32 folder. So I'll go Suki underscore 72 dpi as a JPEG, save to my art32 folder, save. OK, now I want to ramp this up to 150 dpi. So I'll go back to image, image size. And in resolution, I'm going to manually put in 150 and keep that resample checked. Now we can zoom in and see those pixels. So it's going to be 150 pixels per inch. Before, it was 72 pixels per inch. So the program is adding pixels to um, add information and preserve detail. And I'll click OK. So now I'm going to file Save As 150 DPI. As a JPEG in my R32 folder, Save. OK. And lastly, again, I'll go up to Image image size, and we're going to ramp this up to 300 now. And you can zoom in and kind of check out what that looks like. When we add more pixels, we're going to double the pixels. It kind of smooths out those edges just a bit, it adds more pixels. And OK. So it's still going to say Suki 150 dpi because I haven't changed the file name yet. I've changed the resolution, but I haven't actually manually changed the name yet and resaved it as 300. So I'll go up to File, Save As. Three hundred dpi. And save. OK, number five, explore at least three different color modes, CMYK, RGB, and grayscale. So we'll save as versions of our image in each color mode in JPEG format. I'm going to click out of Suki again, because I don't really want to work with that 300 dpi size. I'm going to go back to my original file. And to change your color mode, we'll go to Image again, and this time Mode. And we see that it's already in RGB color. Remember that 
on RGB is um, great for screens because the screen is showing us the color in light, so red, green, and blue. So for viewing an image on the screen, we want to keep with RGB. So we'll file save as. I'm not changing anything but the file name just to save it. We'll do RGB. Oops. Into our Art32 folder. So keep RGB.jpg save. Now we want to change the image color mode to CMYK. So CMYK is going to be good for printing. Um, we'll click OK. And you'll see it doesn't really change it very much, but if you're using kind of like really bright um, neon colors, you'll see a shift because um, a printer cannot print very bright neon colors the way you can see it on the screen. So it kind of gives you an idea of what your image is going to look like when it prints um, with ink because the colors that are showing up on your screen are in light. The colors that you're going to print with are in ink. So two very different ways of making color. So we'll save as. You'll see in here it says CMYK. Sookie RGB is now going to be Sookie CMYK. Art32, JPEG, save, OK. OK, last step. Go to Image, Mode, and now we'll do grayscale. So do we want to discard the color information? Yes, because we want this to be black and white and gray. Save as. And this time we'll just manually type in grayscale. Save it as a JPEG. And that's it. The last step is to upload all of your images. So when I go to my Art32 folder, I should see nine images. You're going to submit all of these images um, for your assignment two. Let's go into submit. You'll click your start assignment. And this is where you'll upload your files. So upload file, add another file, and keep doing that until you have nine. Um, in your comments, that's where you can put the photo credit if you're using a pexels.com image. All right, please let me know if you have any questions. Um, if you're having difficulty uploading multiple files, there's a resource here that you can double check on. Um, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.